So what are routines anyway? Routines are just habits you've established, piggybacked on one another so that you don't have to think. And if you have them written down in your control journal, you can check yourself. But the whole idea is to try to remember the steps you have to take so that you don't have to look at your control journal. That's when you know your routines have become automatic. We practice a new habit each month. We start with January. January is shining your sink. Well, what's that going to do? Well, it's going to change your life. Next month, it's decluttering 15, 15 minutes a day. Just 15 minutes of decluttering will change your life. The March's habit is getting dressed to lace up shoes. We have one every month. Psychologists tell us it takes us 21 days to establish a new habit. They are so wrong because, you know, with our perfectionism, we tend to want to throw the baby out with the bathwater if we miss one day. But we give you 10 days grace, 10 days that you can jump back in. You don't have to worry about missing a day. You just jump back in where we are and keep going just like you didn't miss a day. Isn't that, isn't that comforting to know that you don't have to beat yourself up because you missed a day? I had a friend one time who went on this great diet, lost a lot of weight, and then she ate one little Snickers bar, one of the baby ones. And it upset her so bad that she threw the diet out the door and gained 80 pounds in three months. What does that tell us about ourselves? We beat ourselves up because we haven't taken the time to be kind to ourselves in the process. One habit, piggyback it onto something you've already learned, and then before you know it, you've got a nice little three to five step routine that, that you're on automatic pilot and stuff gets done in your house. 